Yo, Sub Z of Primaphonic Studios in Honolulu, Hawaii. See more better here with freeprescriptionlenses.com, but call me Mo Mo Better. Because I'm going to have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. When I cut your Zeiss Progressive Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lenses with the Photofusion Brown and DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare for the Kazao Legends. This is the model number 616, color 96, which is the dark walnut. Take everything out of the packaging. Of course, you got the Kazao cleaning cloth, one of the largest cleaning cloths offered. And of course, you get one more, which doubles as the carrying bag, which is another cleaning cloth. And of course, you got all the Kazao information in here on the legends, the card of authenticity inside this bag is the star of the show the main attraction the walnut and gold again this is of course Kazals are made in Germany German engineering at its finest this is the model number 616 slash 3 the slash 3 just means the sunglass version color 96 and of course 56 eye size 20 bridge and that wood is rich rich beautiful nicely done i'm gonna show you some more wood tonight and something that i created but it's not as nice as this but i'm getting there you got to start somewhere so i'm gonna pop out the original demo lenses one of which says kazal and of course i'm going to mail these to you you can get all the manufacturers original packaging Take your frame, put it into the tracing element of my blocker. I'm going to sign this number to it. You are Secret Agent 2896. And by the way, Sub Z, thank you very much. He's getting a second pair of Kazals from me in the last couple months. It's got to look good when he's in the studio. Mixing things up with recording artists. Putting some beats out. Got to, you got to look good when you sound good. So I'm going to hit the start button, a little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Kazao Legends frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you'll get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. Now, you'll get your full reimbursement from your HSA health savings account. You will get, uh, I do not accept any insurances, so you'll get your out-of-network reimbursement when you submit the itemized receipt that I can provide to you upon request. So that is the shape that I'll be cutting. That is the lens move on to the next screen i got to enter your pupillary distance which is 35.5 the computer starts at 32.5 so i'm going to tap the plus button until we get to 35.5 i want to raise the optical center up four millimeters to 28 change the layout screen from single vision to progressive now your lenses come from zeiss with all the information on there that's what i love about zeiss they document everything but i'm going to take your right lens out of the packet the three dots on there tells me that it's oriented in there perfectly. I need, this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it's cutting. So I'm going to get two double-sided adhesive stickers, which I've got here. The black side is the sticky side. Stick that onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. I'm going to get everything lined up here as such. Make sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame, and it is. I'm going to hit this button. The arm's going to come down, place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up that magnet. Oh, the other nice thing about Zeiss, as I was mentioning, they put everything on these packets. This is the Zeiss progressive light d18 corridor 1.59 which is refractive index of polycarbonate photo fusion brown duravision chrome anti-glare non-prescription distance lenses 150 progressive strength do the same thing now for the left lens take it out of the packet line that up same come on now come on now 
same pupillary distance for the left eye, same optical center height, get everything laid up. I don't have to change any numbers over here because that has mirrored the right side. Get everything laid out just perfectly. Make sure the lens is large enough and it is. I always like to see that ahead of time so there's no surprises. Hit that button, the arm's gonna come down, place the block onto the left lens. Let me go ahead and highlight this packet. And of course, you're gonna get all the manufacturer's original packaging, so you know you're getting the real deal. Now, on top of this, you're gonna get the most complete records that you can keep with your medical records. Next time you go to a doctor and they casually ask, what do you wear them? Show them this piece of paper that will blow their mind. Again, this is the Zeiss Progressive light D. The D is for the digital freeform progressive lenses. Same thing from before. The 1.59 now poly, 1.59 polycarbonate photofusion brown. The right eye prescription progressive power, left eye prescription progressive power. Your PD for your right eye, for your left eye, the height of the invisible bifocal, the base curve of the lens, which some doctors struggle with when they can't figure out certain things so it's nice to put that on there and again if you guys missed any of that let me recap I almost got away without telling that now all digital freeform progressives have compensated formulas for the distance and for the reading all of that is on there for your doctor the laser engraving so you know what you're getting the strength of the progressive engraving all that is on there that's what I love about Zeiss. Document, document, document. You're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging from your lens company, which is Zeiss, which is a leader in precision optics since 1846. In fact, Zeiss invented the photochromic lens. They invented anti-glare. They sold that technology to other labs. When Essilor purchased that technology from Zeiss, they they branded it Transitions. They branded the Anti-Glare Crizol, but Zeiss, like I said, they've been on top of things forever. Every microscope, every telescope, every binocular lens is made from Zeiss. They it doesn't get any nicer. So, let's see. This is the blocker. This is the tracer. This is the edger. This is what's going to edge your lens down from this size to this size. I'm going to wake up the computer. ID number 2896. 2896. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic, or Trivex, we'd select that material, but we're going to stay with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm going to put a light safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. Press the sticker on there firmly. Place the magnet into the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. That's right, free bad jokes for the purchase of every pair of glasses sold. Hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the right side of the frame first. And you can see this is tracing the shape of the right lens. Measuring twice, cutting once is measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none in this frame with your prescription. But now, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high-impact, ballistics-rated lenses. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel, from flying debris. It has 100% UVA and B protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen. Unlike the lotion screens and sprays that you have to reapply every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, there in Honolulu, Hawaii, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now you also have, Zeiss offers the most complete UV protection of any lab. They offer UV protection all the way up to 400 nanometers. That's why they partnered with the American Cancer Society because they offer the most complete UV protection. Now it's getting the V-shape to bevel onto the lens. So the photofusion quality of your lens, which will turn dark when you go outside, that has 30 to 40% blue light protection built into it. Photochromic transitions are the original blue blocking lenses. You have the DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare 
which is three features in one. The first feature reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. The second feature is it reduces reflection. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses. Or if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see that in the lens. The, the third feature, which is the practical side, it comes with the industry's hardest scratch coating. The machine that applies the anti-glare costs over $1 million. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating to protect your time and investment. Sub Z. Now in just a moment, I will open this door with my mind. My mind's working a little slow today. There we go. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can't. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours and then I can melt it. So I'm going to run my thumbnail around to get all the optical sawdust off the edge of your lens. Let's see if it fits first time around. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corners. Push down the nose and it snaps right in. We can go ahead and start cutting the left lens. There it is. Flip that over to L. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Or today I'm calling it the Prima Phonics. Yo, check out Sub Z at Prima Phonics on Instagram. P R I M A P H O N I X. Prima Phonics. You see all the artists who pass through his studio and uh, any aspiring musicians out there in the hip hop R&B genre. You want to make it out to Honolulu, you need to check this dude out. So I'm going to hit the green button, which is start. The door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the left side. And just like before, measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you got none. Of course, in this frame, as chunky as it is, you're not going to have any edge thickness. So, let's go ahead and take this block off. Use my hand approved drying method. Add that to my sticker collection. Come down here, start the final inspection. I'm going to place it over that black dot. And I am getting zero. No power whatsoever. That's because you have no need for any far-sided or near-sided correction. You are a latent presbyope, as it is called. You only need an extra 150 in the reading, but instead of taking your reading glasses on or off, we have no power in the top, so it's just like looking through a clear window. And all the magnification is down here in the bottom when you're mixing things up in the studio. How's this Flavor Flav needs this Kazao logo on his uh, chain? But, written the same way, Kazao, bam! Germany's finest. German engineering at its finest. Now the other wood I want to show you, this is a creation I have come up with. It is my own brand. It is called Christian Eyewear, designed in USA by me. This model number is the John 316. It comes in black. Now you get two choices you can get. It's going to cold come with a gold metal cross embedded into the temple and a gold temple tip cross on the temple tip you can get it with either black with gold or silver in both locations you can get it in the dogwood because I figured if you're gonna walk up to the bell ring and if you can do a crucifix frame you might as well do a wood color now this one is called dogwood again it comes with either silver or gold crosses in both locations and then of course the majestic purple I want to do a different color and this is the color of Easter this is I was sitting in Easter services when I came up with this idea the Roman soldiers put a purple robe around Jesus it was carrying the cross through Jerusalem so I had to make this one the majestic purple and again it comes with gold or silver you can get these with clear lenses or as any prescription sunglasses, non-prescription sunglasses, non-prescription everyday lenses. Or I can do prescription single vision, progressive lenses, polarized, polarized, progressive, polarized with a mirror coating. I can do the transitions, transitions extra active with a flash mirror. If it can be done, I can do it. 
just go to christianeyewear.com you can go to my youtube channel to see some of the videos i've just started making as of last week this is early august i started in late july make sure that pops in there and we are good to go the youtube channel is christian eyewear designed by me i woke up one day and realized now as a in a music studio, Sub-Z will appreciate this. I woke up one day and realized I'm just a cover band. I'm putting lenses in other people's songs. Now, this is a nice song, don't get me wrong. But I wanted to do my own songs, write my own music. So I came up with Christian Eyewear. Now, I only have two models of this frame on the website. But I like to quote Zechariah. Do not despise small beginnings. The Lord rejoices in seeing the work begin. And I'm only getting started. Within the next couple years, I will be collaborating with Kazal to come up with the cross on the outside of a Kazal frame. We're going we're gonna to collaborate in the studio and have a Kazal Christian eyewear frame. We've already discussed it. I just got to get a little bigger, put a few more dollars in my pocket to save up so I can give them all to Kazal to design my stuff for me. So no power in the lens you have the full power of the reading in the bottom now the last part of final inspection i want to measure the pupillary distance the optical center height 35.5 times 2 is 71 so i'm going to turn this card around measure the horizontal measurement first place the pd stick against my thumb on your right lens when we hold it up to the left lens we're getting 71 millimeters so that is cut perfectly the optical center height is 28, so now I'm going to measure the vertically, not to the bottom of the lens, but the thickest part of the plastic. We're getting 28 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. 28 millimeters. Now, the final part of final inspection is to put these in a three-point stance, but before I do that, I'm going to clean your lenses, and I always like to mention while cleaning these that when you get these in the mail, Sub-Z, there is a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight however there is an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and i'll show you in just a little bit that i'm part of that 80 percent but because of that statistic 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but i'm gonna get these in standard alignment first also known as a three-point stance the three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three i set them down and press down there is no wobble now when i say wobble when i take off my christian eyewear frames and place them on the counter they wobble on the counter but they sit level on me all right, let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. All right, flip these over, press down. There is no wobble. Again, if you want these things, the black and gold with clear lenses versus black and silver with the clear lenses, I can take the sunglass lenses out, put clear lenses in there. Now I have transitions, just like Sub-Z has. When I go outside, they're going to look like this, but indoors, they look like, well, they look like his. So... Flip that over, press down, there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do that neither temple is askew. Check the tension on each hinge to make sure that is matching. Now I send out a selfie request in every package. Sub-Z, I would love to have two. One with you indoors with these clear, one with you outside showing them turning brown. I also send out cleaning instructions not only to care for your frame and lenses, but for you, both of your Kazal cleaning cloths, the premium microfiber cloth that I provide with Kazal eyewear dead center in the middle of the cloth, and your Zeiss cloth, as well as your Kazal Legends case. So it too will last you for years. No other seller does it on the internet, I am told. So, this is what your lenses look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and activate them, meaning I'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. But first, I want to mention to everyone that it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside 45 seconds to a minute minute 15. now sub z and everyone else listening pay attention all photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed to the sun after that they will work for years of maximum performance the only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day and that's why they don't turn dark in a car 
Now, the other thing, they're temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. And since this is early January, I remind everyone that when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. And of course, you can see the brown that matches the brown of the frame, that walnut color, which is nice. Now, there is the photochromic extra gray that will get darker in hotter weather. It's designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside. Now, don't worry. These will get darker. Come on, Sub-Z. We talked about this. Don't you remember? But do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Click the bell icon so you get notifications of future frames and lens combinations as they become available. If you have any questions, you can go to the Contact Me page of the website. In fact, that's what sub -C did for this frame. By the way, this frame, this Kazal Legends, the 616-3 in color 96, sells for $650 normally. All Kazal frames are 20% off in 2020, so that drops the price down to $520. Your Zeiss Progressive Lenses is $149.99. The Photofusion Brown is $99.99. And the DuraVision Chrome, $69.99 for a total of $839.97 tax-free. The reason why I point out now that everything is tax-free, a lot of sellers on the internet are having to charge tax. I am in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax collected on medical devices, so that's why I'm able to remain tax-free. Now, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. On Twitter as Free RX Lenses. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below, but Kazal excuse me, Sub-Z of Prima Phonic Studio in Honolulu, Hawaii. What a life. Live in Honolulu and listen to music all day. Get paid to listen to music all day. But thank you so much for the purchase, your second purchase of a Kazal Legends within a couple months. This is the Kazal 616-3 in color 96, the dark walnut with your Zeiss Photofusion brown lenses, progressive lenses with the DuraVision Chrome, and now hopefully everyone's gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.